What's up, everybody? We're back. And today we're taking a look at Richmond, the new area with all the designer homes between the, I guess, old Richmond and Lake Okamka, which you can see in the middle. We're going to get up close and personal today as we go through. Then we're going to take a look at the Enclave and some of those areas like Newell, Lake Denham, Dabney, those areas over there east of St. Catherine. So you can see the overview here, Richmond, and then we're going to drive down the streets, as you can see here. And there's quite a few people uh, checking it out today. This was on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday the 22nd of September. And you'll be able to see some golf carts in here and things like that. Now, I did look up some places in here on the village's website all of the places i saw were pending so i didn't see any for sale uh, i would imagine that most of these designer homes are already sold or in the process of closing this area is between st john and brownwood and east of the new area of Richmond or the old area, I guess I'd say at this point, um, you do have access to a lot of things in here, including the Okahumka uh, Recreation Center. Harry and the Natives Restaurant is going in over there as well. There's walking trails to the south of here. There is the Recreation Center, the Clarendon Recreation Center over in Richmond, uh, which is literally right across the street. And you'll get a look at that later. Here's a view of the entrance where you come in. And obviously the Richmond sign as well. Right when you come in the gate here. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty nice. This area is right up on Lake o Okahumka. The, I mean, my main concern about this area would obviously be the water. Uh, the uh, mosquitoes again if you know that's something I've talked about several times there's so many mosquitoes when the Sun goes down in any of these areas that surround the water and yes they do spray and they do some of that kind of control uh, but there is definitely a um, overwhelming number of mosquitoes especially in the summertime now this area in the back here, you can kind of see that that road that winds through. That's Buena Vista. They just put that in not too long ago, which crosses Highway 44 and goes north into the villages. Um, the main part or the old part or however you want to say it, the northern part of 44, the villages. You could see the uh, water tower there in the distance. Those big buildings in the distance in the middle of your screen, that's the Brownwood Hotel and Spa. And um, in the background there on the other side of Megasin, Megasin is the one that runs right there north and south. Um, that is Richmond, where the Clarendon Rec Center is. Now these areas, um, these homes in here are not complete yet, as you can tell. They don't have the sod laid down. There is a road under there, it's just not finished, um, cleaned off and ready for move in yet. But like I said, there was a lot of people out here checking out the homes. You can see a couple here walking up, looking at the houses. And a lot of um, subcontractors in here doing some work, even on a Sunday. So that's good to see. Now I have seen some things uh, coming up on YouTube in the comments section about construction slowing down but I, I don't I don't know I don't think so uh, this area you have well point you have Shady Brook you have these people waving at the camera here <laughs> um, you have all those areas that are under construction and I would say that well point and Shady Brook and especially this area is right right in uh, right upon completion they're already talking about water's edge and those areas in there uh, if they aren't selling homes in there they will be shortly so 
This area that is not complete yet is the northern side of that new area of Richmond. And these are all designers in here. So the designer, I'm pretty sure they're only letting you pick from six models, six different types. And it's not open like it used to be where you could design a whole bunch of different things and, and all of that. Uh, this is just to the north. This is that golf cart path that goes right over and you see how close it is to the Brownwood Bridge. And this leads you uh, right into Brownwood Square. So you can see how close it is. Brownwood Square is up in that top right. Here's a closer look at Brownwood Square for you. If you haven't seen it, now it's Sunday. It's pretty empty on Sundays, unless you're out there getting Bloody Marys. But um, like super close to Brownwood Square and I know that this area, when it first built out, was not very full, not like the other squares, but now that these areas are built out, um, Brownwood Square is, is a lot more vibrant than some of the other squares. And it's actually nice to see that because it wasn't for quite some time. They had a lot of businesses open and empty spots. I still don't know what they're doing with the movie theater here. The movie theater in Spanish Springs, they're actually turning that into the new Genesis, uh, which used to be MVP. There is an MVP in this area too. I worked at both of those places, which is now Genesis. Now this is the actual downtown area. I didn't get close enough to really like fly over it, but I was able to zoom in on it for you. And you can see how pretty empty it is for a uh, Sunday morning. I'd say I was out there around, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so. so it's, uh, you see a few people walking around, but not very many. Like I said, unless they're in some of the bars getting Bloody Marys and those kind of sales, they're not really out and about in the squares this early on a Sunday. Most people are out on the courses golfing and doing those things. This is Megason, actually. That's the road that leads right down into Richmond. And this is that other side of Richmond here where you have Clarendon Rec Center. There are sand volleyball courts right here. You can see pickleball courts, tennis courts, all right on the other side of Megason from that new designer home area. And Clarendon is one of those bigger rec centers. It's nice. It uh, has a bigger pool. And um, there's a lot to offer in this area. You also have a uh, pitch and putt south of this, which we'll take a look at. You can see some folks out here playing pit ball early, getting their exercise in. It's like couples pick a ball, getting after it early on a Sunday morning. And this is pickleball. If you haven't uh, heard or played pickleball ever, it, I don't know why you wouldn't, because pickleball is like one of the fastest growing sports, I believe. And but it's a combination of table tennis and regular tennis. It's a smaller court, so you don't have to move as much. And uh, people really enjoy it. They like it a lot. So this is now south of that Richmond area. You can see the walking paths and you can see Lake Okamka right there on your left-hand side. This is such a nice area. And Harry and the Natives is coming up here uh, right where you see that little walkout behind the Okahumka Rec Center. That's where Harry and the Natives is. Well, it isn't right now, but it's going to be. You can see the kayaks and paddle boards there. I honestly have never seen anybody take them out. I'm sure people do take them out. If you've ever taken one out, leave me a shout in the comments or if you know somebody that has. I've just never seen it. So this is St. John right there. That's one of my favorite neighborhoods, actually. We do a lot of driveway parties there. The people are super nice. Um, and then 
looking this way, you can see the the rest of Richmond and DeLuna on the other side of the turnpike there. Now, something interesting about Lake Okahomka here is that some of these things are kind of like moving, floating islands. It's pretty interesting. They have, uh, I don't know, I always call it algae because I'm super dumb when it comes to this stuff. I didn't didn't pass, uh, I don't know, what, it, what would it be called, biology or chemistry or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, these floating islands out here, uh, they do move around and you can push them. I think there's a place up north where they actually push the floating islands out of the harbor every year. And it's kind of a big thing there. You can see some of these over here. And I'm going to fly over them and look down. But you see some of these uh, floating islands. And, and I mean, they have grass growing on top of them and everything. I wonder if you could actually camp out on one of those things. Or if you would sink down. Or if it's marshy on top. Let me know if you know the difference of of like how they are on the top. You can see that dried out grass there. And then here's that other side of Richmond here again. It's a nice place and it's in a convenient area. Hope you like that. If you're moving into that area, definitely gonna want to uh, enjoy some of those amenities. And watch out for the mosquitoes. Now this is that southern side. This is where that pitch and put is. And then you also have the water lily bridge that leads you over into DeLuna. Um, DeLuna also, there's a rec center right over there as soon as you cross over the water lily rec center. Um, so, I mean, you can't get much more central than Richmond. You're also not very far from the turnpike. Um, we have a turnpike exit right there in Wildwood, so I would say it's probably less than 10 minutes away. Um, Megasin's kind of... Megasin's kind of winding to get around, um, but uh, like my flying right now. But if you wanted to go down Megasin, you could definitely uh, get into St. Catherine and some of those areas as well. All right, now we're gonna switch it up and we are in the area of Newell. That Mickey Lee pitch and putt is right here on the right-hand side. And we'll take a look at that closer later. But we're gonna go take a look at the Enclave. I haven't been out in this area in quite some time. Um, I had somebody ask me about coming out here and taking a look at this. This area is like so far away from everything else. I cannot, um, like your resale value, I don't think, maybe not Newell, like right here, but toward the edge of that area, like in uh, Dabney or those kind of areas like Denham, uh, the resale, because there's no exit on that side, like way to get out other than down toward, um, on the main road there, 470. There's not a whole lot of amenities over there. Um, so if you don't like to, I guess, if you're moving the, to the villages to sit inside your house and hang out and not do the amenities, it would be fine. The houses are cheaper over there, or at least they were when I was looking them up. Um, but like I said, you can't really get to the amenities very easily. I think Sawgrass Grove is like the closest thing. This is that enclave area. Um, this is the best I could get. I apologize because I'm zooming in from super far away. But you can see it's under construction. There's not, it's not full yet. There's not a ton of homes in there. I mean, there's enough, but it's definitely not full yet. This is at the very northwest side of the easternmost side of the villages in this area. Surrounded by trees. Uh, there is water over there as well. I 
believe it's Lake Denim that's in that area. Yes, Lake Denim runs all the way along this side, kind of like on the western side of that. And then you also have, I mean, if you were really hard up and desperate, you could go to the main road, that 470, and you could take that into Oak. Okahumka, they do have Publix, like a public supermarket. And it's kind of Okahumka is like a little bump in the road. There's a few things there, not a lot. And the reason why I don't think that there will be that many amenities put in over here is because there's not really anywhere to put them in. Possibly if they purchase some more property or something like that. But I'm not really sure that's going to happen. Now, what you see here, this is that 470 going over the turnpike. So you do have access to that uh, with quick access to Orlando, I guess, if you travel quite a bit and maybe you want to, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you would be interested in this area other than to rent out. But even to rent out, you're not going to pull the higher rents like you would in the areas around the squares or Sawgrass Grove or anything like that. On the southern side of this, on the opposite, this is a turnpike. And on the opposite of the turnpike, you can see Eastport. And that's where a ton, a ton of golfing is going to be. You do have the Mickey Lee Pitch and Putt, which is right here on the eastern side of Newell. And um, I mean, Newell's a nice area, but you're going to drive a ways inside. Uh, to get there from anywhere in the villages unless you want to take the turnpike to 470 and up around and even then it's you're kind of just stuck in these areas I think St. Catherine is in a really good spot uh, Citrus Grove, Case and Hammock any, anything to the east of that it takes a long time to drive into those areas especially from the villages or golf cart wise uh, it might be an unpopular opinion. You can let me know that in the comments. But I think that's why a lot of these houses are selling for less. And their value doesn't go up as fast either as the rest of the villages. Now this is that Newell Rec Center. Um, right off of the Lincoln Fish and Putt. It's a nice area. Uh, they do have a little bit here by the Rec Center. And then you have the Homestead Rec Center not too far away with the... Uh, pads that you can like stargaze at and all that kind of stuff but I don't even know how much people use those if you do use those let me know in the comments again I'd be interested about those I thought those were an interesting idea but I have a feeling that the mosquitoes would come out and get you unless you're bathed in off or DEET or carrying around citronella candles I guess with you um, I don't know also how much the light pollution affects the stargazing in this area because you do have, I mean, look how many homes are packed in here. And then you have this electric grid here, this little electric plant and a um, this, this square water thing here that's like a, a recycled water plant or some kind of water plant that they pump things in and out of also. That's been there for a while. That. I think that was there before they even built this area, so they kind of built around it. On the other side of these power lines, that's St. Catherine, um, that's Sawgrass Grove over there as well. Very nice area, Hawkins, nice area. And I mean, this is a nice area, you're just so far away from everything. Um, you do have the Sawgrass Grove Bridge right there, which is multimodal. So you have golf carts and vehicles can go over that bridge into the southern area at Eastport. So I think that's important to know. And once Eastport's there, it'll be pretty nice. But it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of a trek over there. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. We've had a lot of new viewers. I really appreciate you guys, every single one of you. And as always. I will see you in the next one.